In today's tutorial, learn how to recreate this isometric cube design in a super fast and a super efficient manner, all the while learning some handy techniques along the way. In the way the design industry is going, learning how to prototype is a no-brainer. Instead of just putting flat files in front of your team, your manager or your client, imagine being able to hand them a prototype that's so good it actually feels like a real app or website. Learn more about Framer as well as how to sign up to the free plan later in today's video. Now like the title of today's video suggests, the isometric design is going to be made up of gradients. And as I'm working in Illustrator CC, I am going to use the freeform gradients. But this is an optional choice. So I'm going to show you some techniques and some tips that will make this process much, much easier as well as being fast. And for the first square, I'm going to use a mild gradient utilizing two similar hues. And for this process, I think using the HSB mode is going to be pretty handy because then we can play around with the tints and the shadows very easily and lighting is very, very important when it comes to 3D design. Being able to lower the brightness or heighten the brightness on the bottom slider is going to be one of the most key functions in today's video. So we're going to be making the first set of nine different squares. And so once you have the first square, hold down the Alt Option key and then click and drag to duplicate it over to the side. We do want nine different squares. And so for this new square, you can come into the recolor panel, into the edit section, and then click the link icon. Slightly move the sliders around to adjust the hue or the color of your square. And if you repeat this process over and over again of duplicating a square and then slightly changing that color, you will finish with nine different squares. So go ahead and do that right now for your very own design. And here are my nine squares. And as you can see, I've gone from the blue square at the start over three and then back down to the other two rows. It's going to be wise to duplicate this group of squares in case we do need them later in the video and also don't resize anything from here onwards. Keep the squares the same size. So to actually make the isometric design, there is a way built into Illustrator. And so to demonstrate, I'm going to quickly remove the gradient on the square and show you how it works. So you need to come into the 3D and then also the bevel and extrude option and then locate the isometric orientation in the drop down menu. As you can also see, the bounding box on my square doesn't match nicely with the new orientation. And this is the second problem in using this method. You can use this method, but there is an easier way and that is to download a plugin which is free and it's something I showed in a previous video. The link is down in the description box of today's video if you want to download it, but you do need a Creative Cloud account to actually install it for free. But it is going to make things so much easier today. So here is the isometric panel for the plugin. And so let's grab the first square and then set it to an isometric right orientation. We need to apply the same effect to the second square. And of course, make sure that they are properly aligned and joined together neatly. So for the third square, set the isometric left option as we are building the interior of our design. Now I'm going to speed up this section and let it run through and you can watch as I place my squares using the isometric plugin and also of course feel free to pause the video if you've missed anything along the way. So you're finally going to come to this stage in the process and you are going to want to spend some time adjusting the gradients to allow for a realistic lighting effect. You can press G when you have a square selected and this will access your gradient again. But yeah, you are probably going to spend a lot of time adjusting the shadows and the highlights throughout the entire design process because that's pretty much what I ended up doing for this tutorial. So we now need to make the exterior of our design and I do have two finishing touches later that are gonna really, really make the 3D design wow whoever looks at it. So for the exterior, we need more than nine squares. And again, just use the isometric plugin or the built-in function that Illustrator has to offer. So as you go along, you can duplicate a square and then change it a little tiny bit in terms of the color and make sure to try and get that lighting effect completely correct. 
So the exterior left side of my design is going to be brighter because that's where my light source is coming from. And then the right side of my exterior will be kind of darker because it's in the shade or the shadow. And so when you're finished, you will want to have a neat background. And for my design, I use the freeform gradient once again. You can see the center has more of a lighter hue. However, the really, really powerful tip here is that you can select all of your squares and then come into the recolor panel once more, but this time use this section here. Now we can adjust the saturation, the temperature, the brightness, and also the luminosity. Now this can make for some very interesting outcomes for your design, and it's a really quick way to change the overall color of your graphic design today. And the sponsor of today's video is Framer, it's a no-code, free-to-use tool, making it easy for anybody to become a prototyper. Now, the simple onboarding and design-as-you-go tutorials teach you how to use powerful, pre-built components, make your own custom animations, and recreate common interactions. So just after a few hours, you're probably going to have a new skill that helps you stand out from the crowd. Now, sign up for free or get a 20% discount of any paid plan by visiting framer.com forward slash Satori Graphics. And that link is down in the description box below for you to access right now. So do you dig this isometric design and do you think you're gonna recreate it for yourself? If you guys wanna learn more about Illustrator or graphic design, click a video on screen. And don't forget to share my videos on social media if you do wanna help out this channel. And until next time, design your future today. Peace.